Hello networkers and welcome back to another episode for Ask the Network Engineer. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and you can support us at routehub.net. We have training courses for many different things for routing, switching, security, SD-WAN, programmability, everything great for network engineers, consultants starting out or advancing in their path for being a network engineer. So definitely um, check that out and support us there. If you have any questions about being a network engineer, it is important to post those questions at rodhub.net slash A-N-E. So if there's a question I have not answered that you have posted before, uh, make sure that you go and post your questions there. Okay, that's what I'm looking at for the, the questions moving forward for in this series. It is fantastic. It makes it easy to see all the questions in a nice organized format. Okay, so enough with all of the, the details out the way. The question that I want to answer today from the poll is, should I spend less time learning about Cisco products and technologies since Cisco isn't the same company that has been praised in the past? So this was uh, one of the initial questions that was posted. And um, it was a very blunt question. I'm, I'm, I've been getting a lot of blunt, a lot of direct questions on the polls, and I, I like that. I want to have new questions that I'm answering on the channel. Cisco is not the same company as it used to be because network technologies, the internet itself, has evolved drastically. That's why. Um, back then, the internet was just really just routers and switches. And yeah, maybe your occasional firewalls or routers with access controllers. That was pretty much it. There really was no other complexity bes um, besides that. So that made networking much fun because there's less complexity involved. But as the internet grows, um, a lot of more complexities are introduced. And uh, Cisco kind of, in my opinion, went down the route of um, BlackBerry. So BlackBerry, you know, they were known a long time ago for having a very reliable, kick-ass cell phone for, for business owners. It was a great phone. I loved it. But when the iPhone came out, which was the first of the smartphone generation, um, BlackBerry did not take that seriously. They're like, eh. But the iPhones took off very, very strong. And then of course the Androids followed um, shortly after that and they just dominated the market. And BlackBerry just realized, oh, they had to play catch up. And BlackBerry had never recaptured that top level ever again. And uh, that's how I feel that Cisco did in some regard, not all of it. I felt like that they were very strong in routing and switching but they never took some of the other key areas seriously, like security. Cisco has not took the security thing seriously, and as a result, they were impacted by that, where other companies just swooped right in and took that market. I'm talking about companies like Fortinet, Palo Alto Networks, SonicWall. Yeah, those are probably, those are probably the bigger ones that has took that a particular um, share of in terms of security products. Not Cisco. Cisco has been struggling with their next generation firewall products. Now they're at the firepower appliances, but it's, it's a little, little too late. But that's an example of what this question is coming from, that Cisco is being less praised because Cisco has never really kind of jumped on many of these different trends as, as it should have. Same for wireless. Wireless companies, um, Cisco still has a strong wireless solution, but there's other, other great wireless solutions out there. Aruba, Ubiquity is one that has been growing just very, very exponentially fast. So you have that. Um, Cisco seems to be really focused heavily on their day center products. So that's where, that's where their focus has been. So it felt like that Cisco has just kind of did, it, did an assessment of everything and felt like that their better positioning is with the data center and with large size networks. So that's why you may see small or medium sized networks 
they may not have a lot of Cisco hardware. And I really feel like that Cisco has been trying to get into those markets with their small business products, but it's not the same. A Cisco small business switch is not the same as a Cisco catalyst switch. It is simply not. It is completely on the different spectrum. They're, they're opposites. They're polar opposites from each other. Uh, they're simply not good compared to the catalyst switches, which are just solid, but they're more expensive and companies are not going to pay for that just to do VLANs and layer three interfaces and line rate performance that other switches can do now. So let's get back to what the question is really about. If Cisco isn't really praised, then should I even continue to learn Cisco? Apps are freaking literally yes, you should still learn Cisco products because Cisco is still uh, one of the largest, if not the largest networking company out there. Learning Cisco is still important and not learning Cisco is probably not a good idea. Okay, definitely learn all of the networking products that are out there, the top vendors that are out there. And Cisco is one of those vendors. So you want to learn about Cisco routing and switching. That's where they're still rock solid of doing that. Even though routers may be something that you may not really work with anymore in today's networks, but it may come up in different networks that you or a part of, depends on the business and those requirements. So learning Cisco is really important still for routing and switching um, and doing what you can for wireless, doing a little bit for voice. You know, there, there's some Cisco voice in larger organizations. Um, security, that's also there for their, uh, for their firepower appliance. But I personally see less of that in businesses. I see more of the Palo networks and the Fortigate firewalls or the sonic walls. Those are the big three that I see in organizations today. And the ones I would recommend, of course I would recommend the FortiGate firewalls um, over those other firewall products. So never ever look at something and say, oh, I should not waste my time with that. No, we are network engineers and as network engineers, learning about different products are important because those different products may come up in different environments with different requirements. Never just kind of just say, I'm not gonna learn this particular product. That's not going to advance you very well as a network engineer. It's gonna also limit your options because networks are very hybrid mixed with different vendors. So having more experience with these vendors and technologies is what you want to have to better your chances with opportunities. And that is it for this episode. If you have any questions about being a network engineer, post those at routehub.net slash A and E. You can also vote on uh, new questions that are being introduced and you vote your feedback on what questions you want to see me answer in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, as always, keep networking.